happy Sunday. So we're ready for New Year's. Are you ready to uh, let go of this 2020 life that we've had? Rough life, but a challenging, of course, reflecting of a lot of things in life. Every day we reflect on something, right, love? That's right. Um, I have to get my extension cord. Oh, uh, did you welcome ready? to the show? Welcome. Well, anyway, let's welcome, welcome you. To what? Keto cooking with love. Uh, we're kicking it off. This is going to be our last, our last live show for 2020, guys. And so, welcome, welcome to our live today. Keto cooking with love. 2020, our last live for the year. Isn't that something amazing, right? How many episodes, babe? 17? 17. 17th episode, 2020. Do you like our Happy New Year backdrop back here? And this is the beauty of being live. <laughs> we, just, we just like... This morning we had some major, yes. major technical issues, but well, we uh, soldiered that's on. That's just technical, just, you know, last minute details. <laughs> All sorts of things. But hey, welcome. Happy Sunday. Thank that's how 2020 for... has been. But we pulled through them. That's right, right. Thank you so much for joining us. Happy Sunday. Hope you guys are all doing well. I know we're running a little bit behind. Uh, make sure you check so we can check the comments. Today. Yeah. Um, before we get started today, we have a very special episode. Today is our New Year's Eve cocktail party. So we're going to share with you a few appetizers that we think would make a great cocktail party for New Year's Eve specifically, but for any of the time of the year in general. Obviously, they're all going to be keto, low carb, and healthy. But before we get into that, uh, last week we announced we finally launched our K28 Transformation Challenge. So a lot of people have been hitting us up about how to start keto. The new year is coming. Everyone wants to get into a new body. They want to lose pounds. So we all do. if you're watching this on Facebook, uh, the link is below. We're going to add it to YouTube shortly. But it's K28TransformationChallenge.com. So if you're interested in losing 15, 20 pounds fast, um, and just kicking off the new year with a healthier lifestyle, a healthier uh, diet, uh, like I said, and, and shedding some pounds and getting healthier, the K28 Transformation Challenge is for you. We're going to share with you our meal plan, show you exactly what we do uh, to stay fit year round and to get healthy and to lose pounds quickly. Uh, for those who have been following me for a few years, I've, I've done three keto transformations. I've lost a total of 100 pounds, um, over 85 pounds twice. So, and it's very manageable, very doable. If you've been watching our show, you see how we eat. We have a blast. Uh, those old habits do creep yes, in. Comments. And that is why the challenge could be helpful to a lot of people because this is going to give you structure. It's going to give you an environment of other people in your community that also have the same mutual goals. And you guys can all crush this together. And of course, we're going to be there to guide you the whole way. So again, that's K28TransformationChallenge.com. Uh, go ahead, sign up, check out the link. And we'll be guiding you and look forward to kicking off the new year with you. Now. Yes. So this is what? A sexy cocktail. This is, yeah. New Year's Eve party grown, we have a, going on here, baby. It's a grown and sexy. It's a grown and sexy uh, <laughs> cocktail uh, New Year's Eve party. You know, we had to do it up. I'm not wearing my hat because. Put it on, baby. No, it makes, it makes me yes, hot. It makes no, me hot, just baby. temporary. Just hot. a little fun, right? Oh, All right. Who's you. there? Who's engaging with us? I can't see the comments again. I don't know what's going on. Maybe Let's I just see. don't know how to work my thing yet. Let's see, baby. Let's go here. Sorry, guys. Bear with us. We want to make sure that we can reply to you haven't added to your profile, baby. That's why. Right. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'm tagged in it. So right. there did it you, is. Did you review it? Did you look at the Add profile? to profile. Now we're in. Now you can look at comments. So hello, that. everyone. Hello again. We're going to do Happy New Year's today, be before the New Year. We're going to celebrate together. Because right. we all can be together, right? So we're going to do it today together. From That's mi casa right. to your casa. All right, go to my page. Go to my page and see it from there, honey. Okay. All right, so we're just, as, as usual, we're making sure that we can engage with you all and checking on your comments. Like we said, Happy Sunday. Uh, this is the last Sunday of 2020. It has been an amazing there year. There it is. Hello, friends. <laughs> Siobhan Alvarez. Hi, How you Siobhan. doing? How you doing, Shay? Uh, I'll take this off. It's making me hot. Okay, no worries. Now. La pongo yo. Yeah. Now, 2020 has been an amazing year. It's been full of challenges, full of surprises. We're living in unprecedented times. Uh, no one alive has ever experienced anything like, uh, like this. 
Um, and so it's been an incredible year, but it's been full of lessons yes. and uh, trials and tribulations. Hopefully all of you came out stronger for it. And we're looking forward to a great uh, 2021. Push through. We got to push through That's right. all those challenges. Now, as with every show, and especially it being New Year's celebration, we have to kick this off with a cocktail. So let me make sure my camera is Let's properly, get this baby. unwrapped. Oh, you have to wipe it down, my love. Okay. That's it right now. Okay, there we go. I think we're a little bit better, more centered there. We're, as you can see, is the beauty of being live. Now, let me show my other ones. No, I haven't had a cocktail yet. We will soon. You very, have very, very, the very, cocktail. Yeah, very, 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 very soon. So today we're making a French kiss, all right, which I think is appropriate for New Year's. Um, and it's basically a champagne cocktail. And no, it's not our French kiss. <laughs> no, 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 no. That, that's, not, that's not for TV. Um, it's, it, this is a champagne cocktail, which, again, is appropriate for the celebratory occasion. So we have here, we use some Corbel. You can use whatever kind of uh, champagne or sparkling wine that's dry, not something sweet, because, again, sweet is going to have residual sugars, and uh, that's, gonna, that's not carb-friendly. Uh, so you want a, a dry champagne. A dry sparkling wine, you can use Prosecco, uh, a dry Prosecco with this as well. And traditionally, a, a French kiss, the cocktail, is champagne with some Chambord, which is a raspberry liqueur. And, uh, you know, that's all sugar. So we are going to use our I tried that classic. raspberry Chambord thing. I didn't. Yeah, and I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not particularly crazy yeah. about uh, raspberry, artificial raspberry flavor. I like, I'm making a mess here. I should have cut this along the thing, but you know me, I'm a Neanderthal. Now, let's get into this bottle. I promise you I can open a bottle a lot sexier than that. Ooh, be careful, aim it, aim it that away. <laughs> All right. So oh, go pop the champagne. Hold the cork guys. and twist the bottle. Pop it, baby, pop it. Oh, look and at that. that's what it should sound like Amazing. when you do it correctly, okay? So we're using our hibiscus syrup at the bottom of this. Instead of using a chambord, this is going to give us that nice color, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of earthy floral flavors. We're going to jazz this up with our preferred keto spirit. You can use vodka. You can use whatever kind of spirit you like, something that's neutral, ideally, so it doesn't overpower the champagne. I'm going to add a little bit of a tequila in here. And get the mood going on. Top this off with our champagne. Now, that's, doesn't that look sexy? Isn't that a great way to kick off the new year? Throwing in sexy. All right. We like it. So, who's joining us? Say hello. Happy New Year's. Oh, ha happy holidays, sir. I hope everyone had a wonderful. Christmas time with your loved ones. Ooh. We sure did. We had yeah, a very baby, that's, that's, that's how you get it. <laughs> we do like fresh raspberries. So I'm going to top this off with a little fresh raspberry. Let me clean up my spill here. Beauteous. All right. Now. Hi, Elizabeth. Hey, Elizabeth. Thanks for Happy joining Sunday. us today. Yeah, this has been Blow your horn if you all. got one at home. Yeah, honey. No, I haven't started drinking yet, but I will now. You should be already at my cocktail before the cocktail. Cheers, so, cheers my love. love. You. love you too. Cheers to all of you. Yeah, we started a little bit late today. We had a couple mm. of challenges this morning, but That's yummy. we pulled through them. It is yummy. It's fruity. It's not too sweet, which I no, like. I don't like not. sweet drinks, so it's pretty good. It's perfectly balanced, like the perfect kiss. All right? A little bit of sweetness. Mm. Um, a little bit of effervescence. Ooh. That's delicious. Oh, I just felt the tequila. Oh, yeah. In. You're going to feel it. Trust me. Like I, the night, I the night ooh, is just hit that spot right there. Well, wait till I get started. Now, back to our shindig here. We have a few uh, little cocktail, little finger foods for you. Everything I made today is a finger food. So you're not going to need any little forks or stuff like that. The, the idea behind cocktail parts is that you can enjoy a cocktail and have something to eat in the other hand, right? So we're not going to, these are going to be small little uh, dishes. You can make them bigger if you want, but you shouldn't have to. So we have a quick out. question, baby. Mm -hmm. You want to entertain it right now, yes. later on. Uh, how did you make the hibiscus syrup? Great question. So we make all of our syrups using our, uh, our keto-friendly sweetener. So we happen to use Swerve. Um, you can also use uh, Adelos. There's a lot of brands out there. You can research keto-friendly sweeteners. But we did about uh, water and our Swerve. 
and some dried hibiscus flowers. Now, if you're watching on uh, Facebook, there's our link Got below. Got my on. That's right, because you're a princess. <laughs> so we're trying to make you a queen. If you're watching on Facebook, the recipes are linked below, so you can see the, the recipe for the for the hibiscus syrup there. But like I said, we, bring, we use dry hibiscus flowers, uh, swerve, and water. And we brought that to a boil. We simmered it for a few minutes, and then we let it cool. And we've actually had have had this syrup for months, okay? It's sugar water, okay? It's, it's low-carb sugar water, all right? It, it'll keep for months. So I keep this in the fridge. We make margaritas with it. We've made... Uh, punch for the kids. Yeah, we made so you, we can do this virgin yeah. without the alcohol. You do the same step. You're just gonna add more. Oh, no, no, no. This is what we did for the kid. We made the hibiscus syrup, and then to make it taste like Hawaiian punch, we use orange flavored seltzer. We got some mango flavored seltzer, like different. Sorry, baby. So this, sorry. Is my, this is my right. You can see the inside of my mask. All right, now. Sorry, guys. But yeah, that's how simple it is to make your syrup. So thank you for that question. So we're going to get into our first hors d'oeuvre. And this one, I'm not even going to demonstrate. I'm just going to talk you through because it is so easy, all right? Now, in a lot of Latin American cultures, and this, and this actually dates back, uh, it comes from Spain. One of the traditions at New Year is to eat 12 grapes um, for good luck, okay? I learned this a long time ago when I was partying with some Puerto Ricans, and they handed me 12 grapes. I'm like, what am I supposed to do with these grapes? You eat them. So to, to, to play off of that, uh, for the New Year's, we made some gorgonzola grapes, okay? First time ever, ever for me to try now, this. I want to make a quick disclaimer. She and I both hate blue cheese, okay? Hate it, all right? This, this recipe I actually learned about 20 years ago when I was working with a chef, uh, a French caterer in New York, and uh, he used to do these, and they were extremely popular, and I love these. Even though I hate blue cheese, I love these. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get some crumbled blue cheese or some creamy blue cheese and some softened cream cheese, and you're gonna mix those together about equal parts. And then you're gonna take your green seedless grapes. You can use red uh, seedless grapes if you want. And you're gonna, once it's softened, you're gonna roll about a teaspoon of the cheese all around the grapes. You're gonna have some walnuts that you crush. You can chop those up by pulsing them in your food processor or blender. All right, even if you buy chopped, you're still gonna have to pulse them a little bit more and chop them up a little bit finer. And then you roll them in the walnuts. Any any uh, nuts, babe? Oh, you can also use any keto-friendly nuts. So that's a great question. You can use pecans, it will be delicious with pecans. You can use macadamia, Brazil nuts, pili nuts. Um, you know, uh, we use walnuts today. Um, you can also use almonds, but I think that the flavor of the walnuts is a little bit creamier okay. and, it, and it just pairs better, all right? so. Mm -hmm. Here you go, baby. One for you. Try this. <laughs> and like I said, we both have a healthy disdain. I do love disdain. grapes, though. So we have a healthy a disdain balance. for blue cheese. So, so. yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I mean, it's like cream cheese, right? Okay. Cream cheese and blue cheese. Rolled around the grape. Okay. And then roll. You see? Yeah. And well we done. hate blue cheese. Okay. Mm -hmm. So even if someone is not a blue cheese aficionado. I would I would encourage them to try it, you know, or not even tell them. Just some of their grapes. This is wrapped in nuts and cheese. And little cocktail parties. Absolutely, yes, it, is. it is perfect. Yes, it is That's perfect. That's how we have our New Year's Eve cocktail party. Mm -hmm. Right? You, go. you can make these in advance, and when you guests arrive, they're already plated. They already have something to go with their cocktail. And you know what we could nice with this? Something like salty, right? Like sweet and savory. Mm -hmm. So maybe like some uh, prosciutto or anything like mm -hmm. that. To mm -hmm. go with the nuts and mm -hmm. cheese and grapes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, so you have a nice charcuterie board mm -hmm. for your guests. You're gonna have some nice prosciutto, salami, soppressata, all types mm -hmm. of dried meat, and this will go be the perfect complement. All right. So what are pili nuts? Uh, I think Elizabeth mentioned it. pili nuts. P I L I. I'm not sure where they come from, but um, and they're and they're kind of hard to find. You can usually find them like at a specialty food store, like a Whole Foods or something like that. You won't find them at your regular supermarket. But they're very similar to Brazil nuts. They're very low in carbs and very high in essential fatty acids. So they're probably my number one um, keto nuts. And last week when we did our plant-based lasagna, we talked about how we don't use nuts a lot as snacking, but we like to incorporate more as part of a meal. So you can use pili nuts and that beautiful lasagna that we made last week. You can do them uh, here with these uh, gorgonzola grapes. 
Um, they call, I like to call them blue grapes because they have blue cheese and people like blue grapes. So what's the blue grape? But hey, whatever you want to call them, it's fine with me. Another one? Yeah, sure. I like them. You see that? And we hate <laughs> blue that cheese, all right? You know what? It has a balance. It kicks, it kicks that um, acidity kind of taste of mm -hmm. the, um, the, what is it called? That better cheese? The, the, the blue cheese. The blue cheese. That so the, 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 that's a great point. The acidity, that bright pop of uh, sweetness and acidity in the, in the grapes balances out mm -hmm. that pungent blue cheese flavor that Which a I, lot of people abhor, I find like surprising. myself. Mm -hmm. Like I said, when I used to work with Chef Remy, I used to work with up in Dobbs New York. We ate a lot of these mm -hmm. while we were serving our guests. Now, let me get this off to the side. Those are good. Surprise. Good one, baby. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you, good. baby. Mm -hmm. All right, now, our next dish that we're making is our keto pot stickers. Okay? Now, we love pot stickers. <laughs> All right? When we go out to like Ale House, Miller's Ale House, to have a ribeye steak and broccoli, we always order pot stickers. Of course, they're made with flour. Of course, they have some carbs. We share an order. In this lifestyle, we don't completely omit carbs. We just manipulate them, okay? Because we are in ketosis, if we have a little bit more flexibility in how many carbs we can intake without kicking us out of ketosis, when you're first getting into keto, you definitely want to keep your carb intake low, no. okay? Mm -hmm. But at home, we just have keto pot stickers, and that's what we're making with you here today. So this recipe is very simple. For our dough, we're actually going to use sliced cheese, okay? So you can do this with a mozzarella. You can do this with provolone. You want a low moisture cheese. Thank you, honey. Yeah. All right. And you can buy these already. Now, again, I did buy this pre sliced cheese for people that are really trying to fine tune. You know, pre sliced cheese does have carbs, okay? They put like uh, some maledection or whatever on it so that it doesn't stick together. Normally, when you slice cheese, it sticks together if you leave it under tender for a while. So I always recommend going to your deli section where they have the whole cheese and having them sliced for you. But again, we're not the keto police. We're not here to judge anyone. And so we are going to, on this occasion. No, judgment-free <laughs> zone. <laughs> judgment-free zone. On this occasion, we're going to use our. Listen, we're, we're going to end 2020 good, all right? That's right. <laughs> Let it all go. Let it all go. <laughs> Have fun. Have fun with it. My baby loves cheese. I love cheese. That I like, yeah, cheese, wine, dark, dark chocolate. Like, darker, the better. <laughs> well, the darker, the more keto. <laughs> so, we have our cheese. It's going to go into the oven at 375 degrees. For, depends on your oven, about four to six minutes. It actually takes about seven minutes in mine. So I don't know why. So for those just joining us, say hello. Give us a nice shout out. Happy Sunday. And look, a beautiful day. Absolutely We're gorgeous. ending 2020. Child, what is it? Chapter I'm episode. Episode. <laughs> episode 17. Here we go. Over. Let's go. Let's start off the new year. You know what I mean? Like 18 is going to be good. 18 chapter 18. Cheers to you guys. So. Yes. Cheers. You saw our first oh order, which is our gorgonzola grapes. Super easy to make. Like you literally just need to get your cream cheese to room temperature. And if you really love blue cheese, you can just buy creamy blue cheese and not even use the cream cheese. I use the cream cheese to offset that pungent blue cheese flavor because I'm not crazy about blue cheese and it works perfectly. So that's how quick it is. you just need to get your cream cheese room temperature, mix it, mix it with your blue cheese, cream cheese, blue cheese, mix together, roll it around your grapes, roll that around the chopped up walnuts or whatever nuts you want to use, Philly, Brazil, pe pecans, macadamia. That's that Philly it, again. It's, <laughs> it's really good with, with pecans, actually. Any other cheese besides cream cheese, I'm, I'm asking. Yeah. Um, it just popped in my mind, you know, when I, I mean, you just, you just want just something that's it. creamy so that you can use that as a conduit. For the nuts to stick to the grape. So okay. you can perhaps use mascarpone, which is an Italian kind of cream cheese. 
So any type of softened That's cheese. That's a little sweeter, though, right? That's no, no, no. It's, it, it's just it's bland. It's okay. it's not bland, but it's it's like a, a very cheese that it's kind of it's like it's, it's milder than cream cheese. Okay. Okay. It's milder than cream cheese. So now we have our mozzarella in here. It's gonna take about seven minutes. That the filling for that now normally in a pot sticker filling you're gonna use some type of pork filling, vegetable filling. You can use whatever kind of filling you like. <laughs> we happen to make a pork filling. We made in advance, and all we did was we got some ground pork. We sauteed that up in some avocado oil till it was cooked through about five, seven minutes. Doesn't take long. Um, and then we added some scallions, some ginger, and some garlic to give it a boost of flavor. And then we seasoned it lightly. Okay, so we have that here. We made it in advance. It's refrigerated cold, but we're gonna taste it. Here, honey. Yes. Tasting time. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. The flavors are there. Mm. Just need to be hot. Warmed up. Mm -hmm. But other than that, so it's good. of course, when you have pasta stickers, you need a dipping sauce, right? So let's get our ingredients, my yeah. love. That's the fun part. For our dipping sauce. Okay. So I have a little bowl here. So let me just give a quick shout out to those that joined us a few minutes ago. I haven't been able to mention your names. My girl, Marilyn Pagan from over there, Florida girl. Hello, hello to you, mama. We got Brooke, Brooke Carone. Well, yeah, Brooke. Hey, Brooke. Brooke. How you doing? Congratulations. Um, Brooke just had a baby oh, recently. Oh, baby. She had a 2020 baby. Oh, girl, boy. Why you put me on the spot? I'm okay. sorry. Well, anyway, congratulations. Congratulations, Brooke. It's a boy. It's a boy, oh, okay. Brooke. I knew Stop that. It's it. a boy. Stop <laughs> doing that. Mayra Fernandez. Hello, hey, Mayra. my girl. We went to grade school together, girl. We Hello. go back to our seats. Our girl, Carmen Lopez, is hey, on. Hey, Carmen. How you Hello, doing? Look, we're doing it out 2020 style. Look, we, See that? We're going to end we're it. We're coming down white. here soon, girl. We're coming down <laughs> here soon. We got your coquito. All right? <laughs> so, I'm going to make a quick dipping sauce for our... Pop sticker. So I have some low sodium soy sauce. For but I viene, está cerca. Can you see it? I can. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little bit of vinegar in here. Listen, I can't wait because 2020. We got we we learned a lot of lessons 2020 taught us, right? I know mm -hmm. for sure we did. Let's talk to about this. We thing. not only that, I, I know, baby, but like met a lot of friends, did a lot of good things, you know, a lot of lessons learned. Mm -hmm. Trials, tribulations, like you said, and challenges. That's right. So we have here some soy sauce so far. A little bit. I'm using apple cider vinegar. Traditionally, we use like rice wine vinegar. I'm using a little bit of uh, organic apple cider vinegar. I'm using a little bit of sesame oil. Now, two things about sesame oil: it is very strong in flavor. So you always need just a little bit. The other thing about sesame oil: it's not really keto friendly. Okay. It, it is high in uh, omega-6 fatty acids, which are, you know, cause inflammation, has an unhealthy ratio of omega-6, omega-3 fatty acids. However, we're using so little of it that it's inconsequential, okay? Which like, are the things that I'm allergic to? Not allergic, like I'm going to, like, uh, have, like, a rash or anything like that, but I tend to swell up when I, you know, in, indulge or... Take a little bit of soy sauce in my food, which we'll get to that soon, mm -hmm. which we'll get to that soon. Yeah, anytime that I have anything that contains soy sauce or sesame oil. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of fresh chopped garlic in here. Yes, Carmen, we dressed up for the occasion. We're yeah. partying on. That's it's right, girl. It's, it's New Sexy. Year's cocktail party, yes. girl. Yes. Gotta do it up. All right, I have a little bit of ginger in here. It's our last show, Mama. We got to go. <laughs> we got we to do it right. It's the end of 2020. End of 2020 for us here, last Sunday, last show. That's right. All right, so I have a little bit of ginger. And again, you can do this in a grater, you know, in a, in a, in a, in a little micro plane like I, like I have right here, but I'm saving it. I don't want to get it dirty right now because I need it later for something else, and I don't want to impart those flavors on my micro plane or stop to clean it. So I'm just going to do a little quick chef chop. You, I have mean, some... you want me to do some work? For yeah, you, baby. baby. I don't, I don't want you, I don't want, no, I don't want you doing dishes looking like this. Now, the last thing, well, the second to last thing I'm going to put in here is some fresh scallion. All right. You can use both the whites and the greens in here. All 
All right, some fresh scallion. And to balance out the saltiness of, did I bring it? Right. Did I bring it? My swerve, honey, my swerve. I'll go get it. No, I get it, I get it, I get it. Talk to him about 20 Okay, 20. see, now I can talk because he always wants me to get, get, to, okay, I'm back. get to the show, get to the show. <laughs> and to balance out these bold flavors, we're going to just need a little bit of sweetener. I'm going to use a little bit of granulated swerve in here. Traditionally, you know, in the Asian sauce will have a little bit of sugar, but we're just going to do a little bit of swerve in there for our low carb sweetener. Boom. Mm. All right, baby, let's give this a taste. Ching, 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 ching. Ah, echale algo más. Hello. For me. Maybe on my. Mm -hmm. That bien? Yeah. Yeah? Did you know how my taste buds are? Like, yeah. picks up the, the sodium really quick. Yeah, but once you put this with the pot stickers, baby, okay. you'll be happy to try it again. That's good. You need it with the ginger and the scallions. Eat it. Eat the ginger and the scallions. How's that now? <laughs> Eat it! Put it in your mouth. Now, so that's how quickly you can make your sauce. We've got 38 seconds left here on our cheese. I'm not I'm saying that add, I'm a finicky eater, but I just have like a different taste more, for like, like certain, like more. if I taste a cookie and it's, it's like already like too sweet for me, like I cannot touch it. Things that are really high in sodium, I'm already like, oh, I can't do it. All right, now let us get our board cleared up over here. Yes, baby. Please, too. Let me get this out the way. These scallions are so pretty. Get this out of the way. Ah. Just drop the stuff all over, baby. That's okay. Every time you drop something, I'm going to blow this horn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm going to leave that one alone. Now, throw those scallions. Those scallions right in there. So our cheese is almost ready. We have our filling. We have our dipping sauce. We're about to make some keto pot stickers. Let me grab my pan, my little saute pan. Cheers, my lovies, and Fresh welcome. Out. Say hello. Come in, join us, have a cocktail Fresh with us. Man, Never too early for a cocktail. Let's end this right with last Sunday. Our last episode of 2020. I can't wait for 2021. Our first episode of 2021. Oh my God. Can't wait. Can't wait. Who's going to be with us for 2021? Who's going to join us? I can't That's wait. Right. We're going to have new people on, entertaining us, joining us, right, giving beautiful. us new ideas. Let's show them this, baby. Let's focus on this right now because this is ready. Okay? Looks like you're ready for another drink. All right. So. As you can Ooh, see so here, pretty. our cheese is melted, it's softened. The edges are just lightly brown, and this is how you want it. Now, you got to work quickly here. Because right? it'll start getting It'll off. start to firm up. Firm now, up. if it firms up on you, that's okay. You can okay. put it back in the oven for a second. You can put it back in the oven for a second and uh, and just get it pliable again. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Thank you, my love. Let me just get these folded up. I just want to show them. This happens kind of quickly, all right? That's why I don't work with too many of the cheese slices at once because then the cheese will soften on you. All right, hey, Jeff is on. <laughs> Jeff Doppelmeyer. Doppelmeyer, <laughs> double nickel. <laughs> what up, brother? We're doing it. Hey, just for you joining us today, you get one of these. Blow the horn. <laughs> Thank you. How you doing today, Jeff? Jeff? It's part of our keto challenge, baby. Yes. He's Hi, guys. Our, Hello. He's part of our keto 28 Linda. challenge. He's going into the new year. That's right. Woo! With a six-pack. <laughs> Getting rid of that keg. Thank you for joining us, brother. I love you. I miss you. So, that's how quickly. You got to work quickly. Yes. With these. Now, let's get this pan on. All right. I'm using a nonstick pan. You could do these in the oven under the broiler. It requires you to really, really, really wash them and be on top of them. So the stovetop method here in a nonstick pan is is the only thing that I truly, you want me to truly, do it with a no, baby, it's fine. It's the only thing that I truly, truly recommend because it's it's full proof. All right. 
Mm. And for those little pop stickers, they're like little mini empanadillas, you can call them, you know? It's like an Asian empanada. Yeah. All right? Yeah, it's just fun with that. You can put anything in there. You can put veggies in there. You can put shrimp in there if you want. If you're not allergic, allergic to seafood, you can be Absolutely. creative. We Absolutely. decided to go with pork. Because pork is our favorite vegetable. Vegetable, yeah. All right, baby. Do we need to put any oil in there or just leave it like that? So, great question, my love. You can do these with... Pretty much no oil because there's so much, there's already fat inside of the cheese. But I'm going to use just a little bit of EVOO or of avocado, avocado oil. oil. Avocado. avocado oil. It has more and that a was neutral a little flavor. Drop. It has a neutral flavor and a high smoking All right, point. Do we okay? need to lower this a little bit? Ooh. Let's see, these are... Lower a little bit, baby? Yes, my love, please. And that's just to give it a nice crispiness to it. And to get them nice and golden. Okay. Now, that's good right there. Yeah. You can make your pop stickers in advance, and then right before your guests arrive, you can fry them off and have them ready to go. Keep them in a lukewarm oven, and they'll hold perfectly. And these are not going to take long at all. I'm going to show you how quickly these are going to come together. And like, like he said, these are little, you know, finger foods you can just bring to a party or entertain at your party. So my, che my cheese is getting stuck together, but that's, that's okay. Because okay. we're master chefs. We can just do two at a time. Improvise, yep. yeah. Improvise, adapt, and overcome. I usually do three in a pan. And say it. Improvise, adapt, adapt and, and overcome. overcome. That's right. But That's what 2020 has been. <laughs> pretty much. One long episode of the 18. All right, that one's breaking up. So this, this is the beauty. Yep. This is the beauty. This is the beauty of cooking live, guys. All right. You're gonna have you're gonna have some technical difficulties sometimes, and this will happen when you're really cooking at home. That's okay, but you can see how it's starting None to get a nice, that. beautiful golden color. Serves the same purpose. All right. They're getting a nice beautiful golden color. Let me get this platter here. I'm gonna get these out. That's pretty. Hmm. So they're a little broken up because I put too many in the pan, so the, perfect, the cheese got together. Perfect. But this, this, this is still going to work perfectly. Perfect. Let's put the yep. two there. So let me get these. Beautiful. Okay. You can see there's, there's no, I didn't add any oil to my pan. Because right? it already has a little bit of the... Uh, but there's, fat, there's fat inside of the cheese, so it's going to work beautifully. <clears throat> now... Mm. No, right. All right. Yep. Yeah. Real. All right. Oh, do we have yep. This is going to take a second. Who's joining us now? Got to catch up. Hello, right my dears. <laughs> so you're just joining us. We have our French kiss champagne cocktail here. We have our hibiscus syrup, a little bit of a tequila. Our preferred keto-friendly sweetener. Where's my tongue, baby? You moved Here. down. Thank you. Our preferred, let's lower this. You can let them cook with the yeah. heat. Yeah. Turn it off. Yeah. There you go. So, yeah, a little, bit, saying. a little bit of uh, tequila. Um, you know, or, or definitely vodka will work great because it has a, a neutral flavor. And then we are going to top this off with some champagne, baby. There you go, my love. Watch it with the cookie. Let me know when. Yeah. Ooh. Perfect. <laughs> this girl is on fire. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Do the same thing. Ah! <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Yeah, set it down, bro. Listen. Just can't let it spill over. There you mm. go. There mm. you go. All right. So, and look at these beautiful pot stickers. I want you to see them on both today. sides. All right. How easy. And so these last two came out perfect because we did not overcrowd the pan. All right. Today's all about having fun. Woo. All right. And just That's like right. that. So have some fun with us. That's right. Let me grab a scallion. Say something. Don't be shy. Don't be quiet back there. Got some scallions. 
garnish your pot stickers. Okay. Oh, thank you. So creative. Yeah. That's, thank you, honey. That's so chefy of you. <laughs> and now, let's give these a taste. That is so chefy of you. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to flip the other side. It does make a difference. That's really good. Mmm. So. Mmm. Wow. Obviously, the cheese tastes like cheese. But once you dip it in that sauce, mm -hmm. and you taste it with the filling, you taste the cheese, but it's, it's almost like just more like a wrapper. Mm -hmm. yeah. It almost has a neutral flavor. And the flavors in your pasta right. is what sticks out. And you make out. the little things to have like a little design mm -hmm. in them. That is so cute. You like? I love. I like too. Mm. Mm. That is so cute. Mmm. Australian. So. Very creative. Carmen Lopez says, I said, say something. <laughs> she said, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> Mmm, that's delicious. <laughs> I gotta move this out the way because I'm Cheers. just gonna eat and there won't be no show. Like that, honey? Yeah, that, that was pretty good. And All you right. know what? The sauce doesn't taste so bad. Well, so salty for me now. Now that now that's that that right? right? Yes. Wonderful. Thank you, baby. Yes, you're welcome. So I think well, you, I'm just happy you, you like it. You are you you're always you're always right. Not always, but let me not say that on camera. Oops, I'll take it back. This is live. You heard her, right? <laughs> you heard her, right? He's right. I love, you. I love you. I was right for something to get you. <laughs> now, our last hors d'oeuvre. And to be honest with you, we actually had planned to do a different hors d'oeuvre. Come on in. It's open. Oops. Welcome. The family is arriving. They've been very patient with us. We had some technical difficulties this morning. Remo didn't do the show, but yeah. here they are, and but here we you know are. What? That's what we were talking about. And like, we're, so, we're so happy that everything came together. challenges and everything I do, Alicia. comes about. Hi, Mama. Hey. Hey, 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 okay, so continue, baby. Continue. You hungry? <laughs> There's a couple of jokes. Sure? Sorry, we're uh, right now with the family. We, we always have our figures. family come and join us, we no matter what. You know what? That's one of the things that I kind of like enjoy about our Keto Love live show, too, that we can also bring our family in. Whether they, you know, sometimes they can, sometimes they can, that's okay. But <clears throat> we have them over. And that's Thank you for coming. And hey, enjoy pretty that. girl. <laughs> How you doing? Right. I like your hair. So gives us an opportunity to share moments and days and time with them. So yes. yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we're about to make our last dish. Now, full disclosure, we're going to make a different dish. We're going to make oysters. Correct. And we went to a few places, mm -hmm. didn't find oysters, which is understandable because of where we live. And we didn't feel like going to the end of the world. So we switched it up. And then one of our favorite appetizers, which we get every single time we go to an Italian restaurant, which is Clams Casino, all right? Now, usually the Clams Casino, when you go to an Italian restaurant, they're going to use breadcrumbs, right? Which is not keto. Ours is going to be a keto version. Should we name the restaurant? Because it's local to me yeah, here. And a, for those that are in my Facebook group, might know this place, Romarco's. I took him to this place. And it's really good. Really quaint. Family, family, style. Uh, family style restaurants. Not family style in the portions, right? But family style is like a mom and pop restaurant. You know, um, it feels real homey. Real homey, real and, and when you service. walk in there, you actually feel like you're like in, you know, in, absolutely in Italy. That's right. The, ser <laughs> the service is very warm and, and genuine. Yes. And so we love going there. Of course, their clan casino have breadcrumbs. Understandably so. Ours are going to be keto, and rather than using breadcrumbs, we're going to be using pork rinds in them okay so what do we have here honey let me get the yes. clam yes let me get all this you can take it with you girl it's all for you oh, okay. sorry so okay guys i'm back so you have clams, right? maybe somebody should share one of their good the challenges clams, right, for 2020 huh i said you have the clams the, right baby these right here yes yes perfect. yes okay now Talk about challenges yes. too. Yeah. You know? Maybe we can engage with the audience later and talk about challenges, whether it's weight loss, their weight journey, anything that comes to mind, you know, That's relationships, right. whatever. <laughs> so let's get into these clamps to see yes, baby. Yes, I know. Now, 
We have some clams here, all right, that my love scrubbed and clean. And then you can either steam them or you can cook them in the oven on the broiler so they're just open. You take them out as they open because then they're cooked. And you want to reserve the excess liquid from the clams. Now, when I made these originally, because they have bacon in them, I rendered my bacon and I cooked my veggies inside of my bacon fat, all right? But I already have my bacon cooked. So I'm just going to be using a little bit of avocado oil. You can also use butter. We work great and impart, and impart delicious flavor as well. Say, honey, talk. You Adrian, good. better late than never. Hey, Adrian, <laughs> happy Sunday. That's our beautiful wedding planner. How you doing? We are. Better late than never. But yeah, cheers, my love. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Let me get these in here. We were late too, so it's okay. <laughs> All right. Now, let's get this going here. And I'm going to show you very quickly how we make the filling for our Clams Casino. So I have a little bit of bell pepper in here. Let me get this out the way, baby. Yes. Put this right next to you. All right. So we have a little bit of bell pepper. I'm going to dice this really, really small. Again, if I, if I was doing this from scratch, I would cook my bacon and I would remove my bacon from the pan and then I would make all these aromatic vegetables right there. I like the smell of red pepper. Mm -hmm. I do. I would make my, my you, veggies you right there right away. in the bacon fat. So I have some red bell pepper, finely diced. I've got some shallot. I've got some shallot. Our pan is hot. So let me forget about my corn. The soy sauce and the sauces, but let me forget that. Yes, ma'am. Now, okay. Thank you, honey. And I'm not even gonna add any salt. Just a little bit of pepper. I'm not even gonna pretend like I can do that. <laughs> Ready? Let it cook. If your pan is not on the fire. Nothing is cooking, okay? I'm gonna get a little bit of oil in here. Not even the heat, not even it has that heat. Yeah, but not, it's, not, it's not enough, it's not enough. The pan uh, is not so smoking hot. Okay, not like me, smoking hot. Yep, exactly. Yeah, I'm getting it everywhere. You're getting That's it okay. everywhere. Today you're like not balanced. All right, now, okay, okay. a little bit more oil in here. Oil is a conduit for heat, so if you don't have any fat in there, you're not actually cooking, all right? And these veggies only take like a minute or two in a hot pan to get soft and translucent. They're diced very, very small. Into here, we're going to add our other components. All right? So let me get this out the way. We're going to add our other components in here. All right? And what are those? Well, we've got those bacon bits that I told you that we cooked in advance. We're going to add some bacon in there. We've got those pork rinds, which was gonna serve as our breadcrumbs. And you could just put these in your blender, food processor, and pulse them, chop them up. I actually did these by hand, okay? That's how simple it is to do. Very just, easy to just put them in a bag and, and get some stress them. out. Be happy, yeah, get some 2020 stress. <laughs> get it out. Get it out, all right? We're gonna add in here a little bit of fresh parsley. A little bit of fresh parsley, beautiful. And this is why I don't wanna sully my grater before. We've got here some lemon zest. If you've watched this before, we always talk about how all that delicious lemon flavor and oils are in the zest, okay? Am I missing anything? I've got bacon, I've got my veggies, I've got my lemon, Par I got par oh, uh, Parmesan, Parmesan cheese. cheese, all right? Some Parmesan cheese in there, okay? And then the last thing, to bind this all together, we have that reserved- Clam juice. Clam juice from when we steamed our clams. So right? this is how we spend our Saturday. Most of it. Most of it. Now- Fun in the kitchen, prepping. All right, and just like that, this is gonna be your super, Delicious.
clam filling. Now, baby, you want to stuff these clams? And right I tell you, when I walked in the kitchen, I'm like, it already smells like clams. <laughs> <'Cause>, you know, <laughs> what do you baby, want me to do? Stuff those clams and show them how it's done. Yes. Oh, let me get a spoon. Let me spoon. Now, we're cleaning up our cutting board. I became a pro at this in a matter of like a second. It was fun stuffing. Look at this. How pretty that is. Look at that. Pretty. Look at that. So pretty. <laughs> that come in though. It's so good. Look at that. So pretty. It's so good. The colors. It looks like Christmas colors. It's got the green, the red. So pretty. So I'm gonna stuff them just like this. Look at that. And then you're gonna bake them. Mm. Beautiful. I'm gonna show you this one. You can see. Oh, yeah, baby. We we'll bake them at 375 for about 10 minutes, 10, 12 minutes. And so they're like bubbly and oozy. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. Can't now, can't we'll wait. Try. Cheers, my lovies. Cheers. You can't wait to try them, baby. I'm just having a great time today. Cause why not? Can't wait like, to try them, baby? yeah, I can't wait to try. All right, well, can't wait. Is that? Yay! Love it. By the magic Ooh. of internet TV, here our Clans baby Casino. Clans Casino. Wow. All right. Mm. We have some in advance. Do we have a dish for this, baby? Yes, we do. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. For the reminder. Yes. <laughs> And for and those joining us, we're going to recapture shortly. Okay, yes. so that Jose get so, himself here together. Look. Hey, Layla. All right, now let's get a little lemon for garnish, baby. Mm -hmm. I really do truly love when my kids come and just support. Even if they just, you know, just come in, say hi, mom, and take a little bite and go. I really do enjoy that. I really do. So, I'm gonna, I know you want lemon in these, right, baby? Yes. Uh, we steamed this, we took the clam off of the shell. So you're able to have this as as one bite. It has a top in there. It's gonna be hot. It, uh, how, it's a temperature hot or like hot when it's gonna burn your tongue, <laughs> and then it's gonna it's gonna burn my instrumental thing right there. Mm. You know, baby. Yeah. Blow on this. Mmm. Mm, so good. That mm. is delicious. Oh my goodness. I can't wait for this episode to be over. <laughs> wow. This is good. That is pretty good. Chef Jose, you have done yourself again. <laughs> Julie, you have done yourself again. So, so guys, now we don't have to, well, go ahead. we don't have to go out and have these cleanses you know, anywhere. We can have them right here. At home. That's right. Now, Usually when you go to um, to uh, to a restaurant and they have clams, you know, they're going to be the bigger clams. They're going to be like a cherry stone clam. We wanted to make a cocktail party where everything was like grown and sexy and you could just eat it as finger food. And so we got little neck clams. But by all means, you can have whatever kind of clams you like. Razor clam, manila clams, any kind of clams you like. It's hot. It's good. Pretty good. Mm. That's mm. yummy. That's yummy. Mm -hmm. mm. Alicia? Go serve my guests here. Kill it. Clans Casino. Welcome. There you go. Enjoy. So, guys. We're going to recap? Yes. Okay. Cheers. 2020. I'm not going to say it's a bad year. Listen, there man. is no bad days. There's no bad years. They're There's just no days. Years. They're just years. They're just years. It's really you what you make of it. You grow from them. You learn from them. You move on. 
Absolutely. Yes, it's been challenging. It's been something very different, something we would never, never expect. I think that I think that 2020 has been a vaccine for life <laughs> because it's given you a dose of something foreign, unexpected. It opened your eyes to something different. And it's hopefully, not open you. And hopefully, mind, body, you soul, spirit, for the future, it makes you it things. makes you stronger. If nothing else, I really hope that this year made us all stronger. Because we definitely have, it's been it's been a trying year for many many people. There's been many people who have thrived in this year, and that's great, you know. Um, there's many people that have been struggled, you know, um, and, and that's unfortunate. But wherever you are, wherever you are, we just hope that you have the perspective that today's a new day. You're alive, and you're filled with boundless possibilities to achieve something great. And so we hope that that you go out, you know, and do that. Do much more. That's right. Do much more. If you're just joining us, or you just joining us in the last few minutes, and you didn't miss the front, the beginning of the show, beginning. we talked about our K28 Transformation Challenge for anyone that's interested in kicking off the new year by losing 15, 20, or more pounds, kicking off a new lifestyle and, and, um, and, uh, and diet. What that's year? Easily, what, what year? Easily sustainable. You've been watching us. This is our 17th episode this year. You see how we eat. You see the things that we enjoy. This is how we eat to, to live, be healthy, and stay fit. So there's anyone that's Bring interested in, uh, in getting fit in the new year, losing pounds fast, and I mean fast, go to K28TransformationChallenge.com and sign up Layla's today. looking at Gigi like, Gigi, what Come you say hi doing? to everyone, Layla. Come say hi to everyone. Show <laughs> My wife is getting thrilled out of Gigi. Look at this hair. You're about to lose your shh. Look at this hair, look at this hair. Oh my, my little Pocahontas. I got oh my, my big Pocahontas over there and my mini Pocahontas over here. She has a By the walk. way, Hi. which are my ads for Christmas Eve? We just had the news that I'm going to be a Gigi again, which that makes me seven times Gigi. Seven times Gigi. Because her mama is going to be a mama again, That's which right. makes me... A GG again. So, so see excited. how the blessings are? So 2020, not so, it's not bad. It just, come here, Nisha. You like it? You like it? Mm -hmm. I have yeah, it. Go ahead, come, come here, mommy. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> so my daughter, which I don't know if maybe at the beginning, if, if you just uh, joined us, we mentioned that she is a girl to go for our nails, right? Mm -hmm. She does so nails very popping. beautiful Ooh, nails. Ooh, hoo, hoo. So she's going oh to be a mommy again. So she's going to be a mommy again, baby. Show it off. In August, Show right? In August. So oh, that pear shape ring is so pretty. Again. Another baby. Another baby in the family. Yeah, so it keeps growing and growing and, and growing. Like, so the beauty oh. of life. I know. Beauty of life. Seeds of life. Keep going and going. You live, you live, you live. That's right. And that's all you can do. That's live, right. And enjoy life. Congratulations on the baby bump. Thank you. Thank you. It's been an amazing okay. year. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> she surprised us with a... And listen, this is she, she is us so faithful. With an envelope. Let me tell you, she is so faithful. She's here every week. We messaged her like at 11 o'clock and said the show's not happening. And then we messaged her like at 11 01. And was like, the show's happening. She was like, okay. <laughs> and here she is yeah. first before anybody else. We love you for that. For yes, real. From my heart. We yeah, we had so many things going on this morning, and I'm like, I don't know. It, 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 yeah. But here we are. Here we are. Right? We made it happen. 2020, 2020 is going to happen with a big bang. That's how it happened. Well, let me tell you my little quick story with my Christmas Eve. You know, baby girl over there gave me a little envelope, gave us envelopes. I was sleeping. He, he, us always. He fell asleep. But I woke up to congratulate you, right? And the envelope, she said, don't open it until the day. <laughs> All right, we stuck our hand in the envelope. We're thinking, okay, it's like a, a lottery ticket, some money. <laughs> well, it's lottery, right? Want. Um, No. There was the picture of the baby soon to be. More, so, so, yeah. Want. Again. Thank yeah, you so, for those that are congratulating me. Yes. Thank so, you. guys, thank you so much. It's time for us. Yeah. The ones that are not with child to have another drink. Okay? Wouldn't drink for her. Wouldn't be drinking for you for the mm -hmm. next year vicariously hard. Wouldn't go hard on all of them. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't believe you. Guys. Okay, baby. So if uh, we started from beginning to end. Yeah, so we started our... with our French kiss cocktail. Yeah. We have our hibiscus syrup here. Instead of using Chambord, 
We have our hibiscus syrup. We have our tequila. I just want to say thank you if you're still with us. If you're still with us longer than we possibly are taking, you know. But we do enjoy this last 17th episode of our show, 2020. On a I can't side miss. note. Yes. Let me tell you a quick story. Go ahead, baby. I love your little stories. So we love tequila, right? It's our favorite spirit. But today, I don't think I've done this on other episodes. Today, we're using Camarena tequila. This tequila I love especially. They launched in 2010 in America. Mm. In 2011, they did a marketing campaign that featured food trucks all over the USA where these food trucks trucks were doing Mexican style street food with tequila infused. Mm. There was a competition in Miami for chefs. Guess who won? You did? I what? won. So for two months, I kicked off our marketing campaign. Should I blow the horn? horn? And I ran my own food ah! truck for Camarena doing Mexican street foods infused nice. with tequila. For you, it was amazing. Good it was a, it, we went all over uh, Miami, Fort Lauderdale. We fed thousands of people. And we got them drunk. And I had cases of this in my house. It was amazing. So I love Camarena. <laughs> I we love do Camarena. get a lot of Camarena at home. And it's a Highland tequila. It's quaffable. It's delicious. It's comparable to anything that you think that's great on the market, like Patrona Don Julio. For half the price. Yes. Okay. So yes. that's my shameless plug okay. to my former. We gotta make her a little uh, business partners. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. We have we have the food punch. Yeah. You know yeah. And so this was our French kiss cocktail. It's a little bit of our hibiscus syrup. I'm so excited. Replacing to the about my little, my little, you know, sodium. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you know sometimes we want to indulge taking out, you know, mm -hmm. ordering. Take yeah, out. tell me a story, baby. So. So, you know, sometimes we have busy days where we, I can't, he can't be in the kitchen cooking. I'm not in the kitchen cooking. He doesn't let me sometimes be in the kitchen cooking. He wants to do it himself. But anyway, the other day we decided to order Chinese, which a lot of times we do. And my go-to when I do order Chinese food, and for those that are still watching and you no indulge in eating Say, Chinese you food, I, um, I sometimes tend to stay away. But what I do do when I order Chinese is uh, my order is sauce on the side. Sauce on the side. So I order chicken and broccoli. Sauce on the side. Steamed chicken and broccoli. That's sauce it. Sauce on the side. Don't even bring me the rice and bring me the sauce on the side. That way I can just, you know, drizzle as much, you know, as little as, as whatever little as I want. want. So the uh, quantity is there for me to do. So that's my little advice for you. And that's a great tip, baby, because so I've told Which you. Which I don't even use much. I just mm -hmm. like drizzle little dots and that's it. That's just a, like Caesar salad. When I order Caesar salad, that's on the side. I order the Caesar on the side. Now, Caesar dressing uh, is keto, but obviously if you're going to get it from a, a, a outside restaurant, they're, they're going to be using the highest quality. Excuse me. <laughs> this bubbly has me. Woo! They're not going to be using the highest quality fat. All right, so Caesar dressing is keto. But like she said, that's a great point. Um, when we order Chinese food, uh, I just, my most recent challenge for the first 28 days, we did not cook at home. And I lost a shit ton of weight. And we did not cook at home. We ate out exclusively. We were extremely busy between her doing real estate and us in the midst of other things that we're working on, which will be soon announced, and we were extremely busy, and we did not eat at home at all. We just we didn't have time to be at home. A lot you of people have this challenge. The great thing about keto is that you can eat anywhere. You can eat fast food. You can eat Italian, Chinese, Indian food. It does not matter. You can go to an Italian restaurant and have a completely ketogenic experience without modifying their menu that's right just by modifying just tweaking your choices it. yeah your choices okay? yeah so her point about the sodium is very important because you know we have chinese food we get the sauce on the side and rather than it being soaking in all this high sugar high carb sauce we just drizzle a little bit and like i said it's about it's not about restriction or omission it's about manipulation and just having dominion and understanding what you're putting into your body. That's right. Okay, we're not That's trying right. to demonize carbs. 
we're just trying to say that the overconsumption of carbs will lead to chronic disease and poor health. So we moderate our carb intake to optimize our health. That's pretty much our message. And look, we just had Such hot stickers. Clams Casino. Clams Casino. You, you I mean, there's Zola so grapes. many dishes you Champagne. can enjoy All right? without feeling so guilty and still feel fulfilling and joy <clears throat> and still have room for more. <clears throat> My like Kanye says, may all your pain be champagne. But listen, I can't wait for the K28 challenge for you guys. That's right. We it actually wait. starts tomorrow. Is it, it, the start date is between tomorrow and a week from now. So guys, you need to stop signing up now. All right? New Year's is upon us. Let's get busy. Let's go up the new year with a healthier lifestyle, healthier body. All right, so we can be around longer, healthier to play with our kids, our grandkids, all right, our family, our friends, so we would live life with vitality that we actually want. Seven grandbabies. Amazing. Seven In a few come, minutes, come. you're gonna come, come and do come. it. Pop it. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Hold on. You're gonna, gonna hold, you're gonna, gonna hold the bottom part off with the other one, baby. I got it right here, baby, for you. All right, come on, so come yeah. on, Layla. Lay, lay. So again. So you're gonna hold it like this. No, no, no. The other way. You're gonna hold it like this. I'm gonna hold it like Come this. Over here. Okay. And then you're gonna pull the string hard. One, so again, two, we're gonna end three. 2020 with a big bang. Wait. Go. One, two, three. Yay! Pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Like there that. You go. Yay! Happy New Year! Happy New Year, Fox. To you. Ah!